After classes A through C1 hit the hardwood yesterday in Lincoln for state volleyball, today it's all about the lower classes, C2 through D2. And we're diving headfirst into class the D2 bracket right now, starting with the number one seed. The top seed Cambridge Trojans taking on eight seed Shelton to kick off the tournament today. It's just Shelton's third ever appearance at state in program history. The Trojans up one to nothing in the match, but fighting out of a deficit here in the second. Bailey Allmeyer using the bump set to here to set up Aaron Johnson. Her kill lands and cuts that deficit to four, but the Bulldogs come right back. The set goes to Aaron Gegg in the middle. No doubt about that one. Shelton takes set two to tie things up at one apiece. Cambridge, though, then takes the third and in set four, Mallory Springer with the set for Johnson. She comes through again in the clutch and Cambridge leads by four. The Trojans end up taking the set and the match in a three to one win. They're on to the Class D2 semifinals. This is also their first win in the state quarters since 2008. Do what we did this like today. We just pushed through. We've never made it this far, so we just got to keep pushing. We got down sometimes, but we picked each other up and it was great. The Trojans move on to the D2 semis where they will play Friday morning at 9. Well, did the 2 7 matchup, 7 seed Central Valley taking on 2 seed Overton. This is Overton's fifth year in a row at state. They're home away from home of sorts. The reigning Class D2 runner ups have a 2 0 lead on Central Valley. In set three, the Eagles use Natalie Wood's slide for the kill. Overton goes up nine. The Cougars keep firing, though. Kale Gro or Kaylee Grosshart, I should say, gets the overpass kill, but the Eagles still have an 11-point lead in the set, and it continues to grow later. Overton looking for the sweep, and when you feed Julie Ryan, it's a recipe for success. The Cougars try to dig up the kill, but it falls. It's 19-7 Overton. Then Ryan comes right back with the overpass of her own off the serve from Ashlyn Florell. It's the Eagles who win in a sweep. Overton continues its run at the state tournament. They're on the hunt for that first volleyball title in school history. Yes, we're the higher seed, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Like, we're here, so are they. Every other team earned a spot here, so we just got to play our game. Us seniors have played together our whole lives, so, I mean, definitely just making our younger selves proud. The Eagles will be back in action Friday morning at 11. And last but not least, the 6-3 matchup. Six seed Stewart looking to upset three seed Meridian. It's Stewart's third straight appearance at State. The Broncos, they take set one as well, 25-23, and they're battling in the second. Addison Steinhauser with a big block to cut the deficit to just three, but Meridian ties the match by taking set two. And then in the third, Jaylee Sabatka lofts the kill up and over the Stewart block. They can't dig it up, and it's a five-point Meridian lead and route to a win in the third set. In the fourth, Sabatka rising up for the big block. Broncos try to get it back over, but it falls. Mustangs tie it at 19, and later it's set match for or a match point for Meridian. Mackenzie Hofstetter ends it for the Mustangs. They take it three to one and advance past the first round for the first time since 2017. This year, obviously the goal was to make it to state, but then really win that first round. We are very young this year, and a lot of people are new to this. Um, we knew we had to fight back, and we just kept our heads high, I guess. The Mustangs will now take on Overton in the Class D2 semis Friday at 11. And there to soak up all the Class D2 frenzy this morning is our very own Mason Kern. He's got more from Lincoln. An energetic early morning here at Pinnacle Bank Arena as the Class D2 state quarterfinal matches are played. It might be the smallest classification for the sport in the state, but teams and their fans travel very well to the state tournament in Lincoln. Overton, the Class D2 state runner-up just a year ago. They sweep today, hoping to make it back to that state championship game and right last year's wrongs. Meanwhile, Cambridge, they defeat Shelton today. Cambridge, of course, has a state championship back in 90. 1993. They hadn't won a first round game here at State since 2008. But that, of course, changes today. We'll have you fully covered the rest of the tournament on Local 4. But for now, reporting in Lincoln, Mason Kern, Local 4 Sports.